You see, these things that are coming upon the earth are horrendous. We have to come ourselves into the Holy of Holies. You see, and having had the experience ourselves, then we can lead others in. You cannot bring people in to an experience that you have not had. I met Brother Bailey for the first time in 1995. It was a spiritual renewal seminar that he was speaking here in Singapore. And my wife and I, we attended the seminar. Wow, what a great word he gave, man. And we had the privilege of having lunch with him uh, after the meetings were over. And then in 1997, through a set of divine circumstances, uh, he, he came to Cornerstone to preach. And I can still remember that great word, man. He talked about the perils of the outer court and a call to come in deeper to the holy place. What a great word it was. We were still at the World Trade Center Auditorium in Pasi Panjang. And uh, man, that sort of sealed the relationship relationship. Uh, several years later, we were up in Zion in Waverley. And then in the year 2000, Cornerstone became officially affiliated with Zion Ministerial Fellowship. You know, it's interesting. Solomon said, you know, you labor and then you don't know who is going to inherit your labor. But you see, if you're a righteous person and you live for God, God will raise up seed that will take your vision and to many generations. When we were affiliated with Zion in the year 2000, something happened to, to our church. God brought us into the greater eternal purposes of God. I, I don't know what happened, but I know that the lid over our church was lifted. And uh, I believe in the headship anointing, that anointing was on, that was on Brother Bailey started flowing into our church and God brought us up into a place that we have never been before. God brought us into a brand new, face of our ministry because of Brother Bailey. I don't know how many times when we travel around the world, many times he preached on the message of Zion. And I heard it so many times uh, over and over again. And after every sermon, I tell you the truth, I would go up to him and say, Brother Bailey, that was such a great word. And he would say, oh, tell you, you always say that. I said, no, I mean it with all my heart. It's such a great word because it was always fresh. Uh, to us. It was always a wonderful word from God. And you know, Cornerstone really is, is Zion, a Zion church. Uh, we are Zion in heart, we are Zion in mind because the Holy Spirit, true Brother Bailey, imprinted that vision so deeply in all of us. Here is a vision that you must impart to your people. The thought of being kings and priests of the Lord so that they run with certainty and they know how to be a king and a priest unto God. Brother Bailey died in June of 2012 and we were in church camp in Malaysia when we got the news. It was about six o'clock in the morning when we got the call and I, when I heard it, it shook me so badly. I was lying in bed and I, I just wept softly and I, there was such a loss in my spirit. I felt I lost a spiritual father, a mentor, a friend. And uh, you know, I, I, over the years, uh, Cornerstone has accomplished uh, quite a few things in the Bible College of Wales and I've always wished wish that Brother Bailey was alive to see what God has done uh, through this congregation. He spoke very fondly of Mr. Reese Howells, uh, spoke very fondly of the Bible College of Wales and you know it was, I wish that he lived long enough to see what God did. In the final years of his life, he spoke a lot about the Heavenly Father. He recounted a story of how he had met Jesus on many occasions and he met once the Holy Spirit, whom he described as a younger version of Jesus. It's interesting. Uh, and then he said he had never seen the Heavenly Father. So there was a season where he cried out to God and um, had this amazing encounter with the Heavenly Father, not in his full glory, obviously. And I think the last message that he preached had to do and sort of circle around the revelation of who the Heavenly Father was and of course our preparation to heaven and that was uh, something that he preached much about. And you know I am the man I am today because of Brother Bailey. He brought me to a place that, uh, that I could only could describe because of my connection 
with him. What an amazing gentleman he is. And I've remarked on several occasions to my friends that if I died um, half the man he was, I would be a happy man. He carried such an amazing stature, such a godly, godly personality. This is a time that we're going to enter into. I want you to be ready. I want you to stand in the time of darkness. I want your light to shine and your voice to be like a clarion call and have such a love for God's people.